Hi, this is Brandon from Tay Talk Tech, back here again with another episode of Linux Sundays. And you always know it is Linux Sundays because you hear the air horn. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, today I'm going to be covering uh, an alternative to Chrome OS and Chromebooks. Um, you know, I was very, very intrigued when I uh, when I came across a little um, a little headline state, you know, stating about a, an updated version, uh, or I shouldn't say an updated version, but a new, a new, uh, a new Linux distribution that was going to actually add an alternative, uh, to Chrome OS and Chromebooks. Now they do Chrome uh, OS does, and, and which is owned by Google, um, does have, uh, an open source version, which is Chromium OS, but still it's within that Google environment and and that's that's some of the issue with myself as well as other people i really really like the the idea of a chromebook just a simple operating system you know simple you know experience and, and all of that and but the the problem is is that you know i i just keep in mind that google is a company that is centered around selling you things that that is what their entire um that is what their entire um uh Google environment is really centered around is selling you things, um, whether it be additional Google services and products or to sell you other people's uh, products and services. And, you know, honestly, really, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I really don't think there's anything fundamentally wrong with that. Yes, there are uh, issues around the privacy aspect of it and transparency and things like that. That's more where my concerns are. Um, is you know is the way that they're doing things and how transparently they're doing things but you know honestly it's it's really nice to be able to just escape um you know and just do things on your own you know not that you're hiding anything but just stepping away it's almost like going into the computer woods you know and being able to compute without having somebody sitting there just throwing um, you know, for lack of better terms, you know, just throwing crap at the wall, you know, just to advertise at you, you know, and hoping that you pick up on something. Oh, hey, look, they got this. And they got that. I know it's much more directed crap, but it's still crap at the end of the day. Um, you know, so it's nice to be able to have an alternative to Chrome OS. Now, um, this particular this particular distribution um, is called uh, Ubuntu Web Remix 20.04.1. Uh, this is the very first um, stable version of this, so there might be some of you out there that have already come across this in forums. Now, this uh, this uh, distribution uh, is developed by the gentleman um, who uh, developed the Ubuntu Unity distribution as well as the Ubuntu ED. Um, and his name is, and I'm sorry if I get this uh, incorrectly, it's Rudra uh, Saraswat. Um, you know, and really, I've been surprised by the product uh, that he has created. Um, you know, keep in mind that this is a de-Googled product. So, you know, you can install Chrome OS if you want. Um, you can actually even install um, Android apps on there if you want. You know, but that's going to be solely up to yourself. And that's, and that's the beauty of Linux is you can really make it what you want. You can use it out of the box or, like I said, make it what you want, which is the most beautiful aspect of the of the linux world now so it's really it's it's a it's a really beautiful looking distribution i really actually really really enjoy it um just looking at it it looks pretty it looks sexy um it's got this cool little uh desert background with the night sky and then it's got the you know ubuntu web and this little thing right here um it's it looks really really nice um and it looks like it's it looks like it's built on a modified version of uh, GNOME, which we can see, um, you know, because you can go in here and you can actually see the way that their the apps are lined up and everything like that. Let's actually go ahead and open up a terminal, and we're gonna do an. I always like to just go ahead and do the install, check and see if it's not installed right off the bat, because um, typically in most a lot of the distributions that at least I've used, NeoFetch is not necessarily um, involved. Is I'm sorry, installed. All right, and there we go. 
Yeah, it looks like it is using a modified um, GNOME uh, desktop environment. So um, it, it looks beautiful, folks. It really, really does. Um, kudos uh, to Rudra on the beauty of his distribution. I'm not familiar with Ubuntu Unity or Ubuntu ED. Um, so this is my first experience with the uh, Ubuntu Remix distros. And this one is an unofficial one. I guess the other ones are... Uh, more official Ubuntu remixes, uh, but it is a very beautiful looking um, distribution. So now you do have an alternative to the Google uh, the Google Play Store, um, and that's going to be down here in the Open Web Store. Now it's very very minimal at this stage of the game. Now keep in mind that's where this distribution is at. Any any operating system is going to is is going to go through development you know windows uh, you know mac os you know even just ubuntu itself the, the, none of these are on their very first version and you know you gotta t you gotta you gotta take that into account that this is a very very early iteration of this of this distribution so you've got to cut them some slack and you know just see that it's see what its potential is and that's really where it's at is that potential for it to be an alternative to chrome os now it's got a few different uh, it's got a few different web apps that you can install. Um, you know, and all these different web services, streaming, uh, social networking, music, education. The only one that I've installed is the YouTube one, and it works just fine. And you know, you can actually once you go down here, you can actually see that, which is right here. And you can go ahead and install those either through the command through the command line. Or you can actually use um, uh, run a file, and then you would just go to where it's located, and then you would just hit OK, and then it would you you would go ahead and give it authorization with your password, and then you would go ahead and install it. Pretty easy, um, you know, which is which is fantastic. It is, you know, it does have the additional step. You know, compared to you know uh, Android, but still, you know, and, and Chrome OS, but still, that's going to we're starting somewhere, and it's great to have that alternative. And and honestly, not every operating system is going to be the same. Every every operating system has a different way of, of installing software, you know, and 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 that's okay. You know, I, I get it that some are going to be are going to have their, um, you know, they're going to have the things that appeal to you as, as a user. And that's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, just work work with what works for you. That that's what that's the way that I see, um, you know, operating systems and technology in general is it's here to serve me. You know, and it's what I want. It, this has nothing to do with anybody else, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. But you're also entitled to use whatever it is that you want. So always remember that. All right. So and the app works great. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and just pop it open and just let you see. It's really just going ahead and popping us into youtube.com. And then you can go ahead and sign in and do your thing, watch your videos, uh, and all that kind of stuff. It is fantastic. All right. So now keep in mind that if you wanted to, it, the, um, you know, as far as developing apps, you know, it, it uses uh, easy web app format. Uh, to create the package web apps using um, WADK tool uh, for the desktop, and you can install them using WINST. Um, you, you know, you, you can actually create your own web apps uh, and packages for them in the Remix distribution. Um, you know, I'm not really familiar with that uh, th that process. This is I know the general concept of web apps and their development, but I do not know the specifics of it. So. Um, if that's something that you do want to see in a future video, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to go ahead and see what I can do. Same thing with, you know, working with the Android apps on Ubuntu Web Remix or and or, you know, just in Ubuntu in general. Um, you know, I like I said, it's all about making the computing experience and technology what you want from it. So things really aren't off, um, really aren't off limits, you know, at least as far as my channel goes. So... Um, you know, and, and the beautiful thing about this distribution is not only can you install the web apps, um, you can also install Android apps, and you can also just install Ubuntu, um, you know, in, in Linux-based uh, um, software. 
uh, on this distribution, which is definitely a step up over um, Chrome OS because in Chrome OS you are a little bit more limited. You know, so this kind of gives you both. And I'm hoping really in the future that you're going to have a lot more opportunities for having, you know, a lot more web apps and just j apps in general, desktop apps that you're able to go ahead and use to take care of a lot of the things that, that you want to accomplish with the device. You know, and, I, you know, I really, really enjoyed um, this distribution. Mm -hmm. Now... There is one thing that I do want to go ahead and tell you about as well, is it does have integration for the eFoundations um, cloud services, which is basically just like a, it's really just like a Google environment, but a de-Googled environment of, with a focus on privacy, um, you know, that allows you to integrate, basically just to create an, an environment. You know, and it's got all, you can you can actually change the OS on um, on some on some Android devices to be able to work with the um, with the uh, with the E Foundation environment. I'm not really sure how to say it or what, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it the E environment. Um, you know, just for simplicity purposes. So the e environment, you know, you can actually install it on a sm on a smartphone. Uh, you can actually go ahead and integrate it into your um, use it through you know your um, through Ubuntu Web Remix. It's actually got quite a few of the services already involved. Here's e files, e notes, e photos, email, e contacts, e calendar, e tasks. I I'm not familiar with the e environment, so if that's something that you want covered in more detail. Uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know. I'd be happy to go ahead and learn more about it. It's something I will probably do on my own uh, just so I can go ahead and, you know, know what, what else is out there and all of our um, privacy uh, focused options. Now, um, I'll go ahead and uh, leave a link, some links down below. I'll leave a link to the, um, the ISO of Ubuntu um, web remix. I'll also leave a link down below to, um, the eFoundations website. If you, so if you want to go ahead and check out that, um, uh, that, uh, environment, then go ahead. Now, if there's anything else that you want to see in regards to anything that I've covered today, please go ahead and leave it down in the comments. If you like the content that I'm making here, go ahead and, um, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you like down below. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down and let me know what you didn't like below. Uh, if you really like the content that I'm making here, please consider subscribing. I'm definitely going to be making more content like this and be more consistent with the Linux Sundays. Uh, next week I'll probably be bringing back the, uh, learning Linux with Taytog series. So, uh, look forward to that. Um, I really thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a great day.